Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of determining the validity of equations and inequalities. This is standard 7.11b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 23 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got four different inequalities. We have x equals negative 6. All we need to do is plug and play. We need to find which one is correct. So let's just start with a here. So negative 5, negative 3, and we're going to go ahead and plug in our x. We're going to substitute our x for negative 6 is greater than 10. Now, we could plug it in this way if we wanted to. We could also isolate each variable and solve for x, but let's just go ahead and use substitution here to see how this works. Uh, and so we're going to use, remember, our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And so we're really not going to worry about any exponents or parentheses, just multiplication and division. So let's go ahead and multiply. So we got a negative 3 times a negative 6. So 3 times 6 is 18, but negative times negative is, is addition. So it's going to be negative 5 plus... 18. So we need to make sure that the two negatives make a positive is greater than 10. So we get negative 5 plus 18. So that's really, you could use the commutative proper if you wanted to. You could flip the order. You could say 18 minus 5 is greater than 10. So 13 is greater than 10. So that looks like that works. Let's check B, C, and D just to make sure that we didn't do something wrong. So let's do substitution again. Negative 3 minus 5. X is going to be negative 6 again. Is less than negative 14. So we've got uh, multiplication again. 2 negatives. So let's do negative 3 plus 30. Right? 6 and 5 is 30. Negative and negative is a positive. Less than negative 14. I'm going to go ahead and do that commutative property again to go ahead and just flip those add-ins. And so I've got 27 is less than negative 14. All right, so that does not work. It would work if it were greater than, but not if it's less than. So it's not B. One down, two more to go. C is 1 Looks like it's going to be a little bit smaller here. Minus 2x. x is negative 6. Boy, they just love getting us to multiply these two negatives, don't they? It's greater than 13. All right, so 1. And then I've got a negative 2 and negative 6. So that is a positive 12. 2 times 6 is 12. Negative times negative makes it positive. Uh, so that's going to be kind of interesting and easy. And so we've got 13 equals 13, but they want us to say 13 is greater than 13. That is also incorrect. Let's check our D. And so D says 2 minus X. Interesting. Minus, now watch what I have to do here. I have to do minus negative X. That's how you note that you're going to subtract a negative you have to use the parentheses. If not, it looks really weird. So to all you do here is you say negative and a negative. You're not multiplying anything. It's just a negative and a negative make a positive. So 2 minus negative x is actually the same as 2 plus x. That's all it is. Two negatives make a positive. 2 plus 6 is 8. So 8 is less than negative 3. Nope. Not going to work. It would be fine if it were greater than negative 3. And this C we didn't say, but it would be fine if we were to say equal. So B, C, and D are incorrect. We were correct with our very first one. The answer is A.